track wrestling in Trnava, Slovakia at the Junior World Championships with 74 kilogram finalist Makai Lewis. Third freestyle tournament of your life and you're in the Junior World Finals. How do you explain that? Uh, just coaching and believing in it myself. Um, I'm just grateful and excited about it. Uh, everything that Tech has done in preparing me for this, and even uh, the USA Wrestling, going out to Colorado Springs a couple of times to prepare for it, just all of that, and everybody who's just around, just helping me out, getting me confident, feeling good, and just being able to wrestle hard here. You're capping things off with a leg lace. And you scored six of your, what, 12 points in that match on laces. Yeah. Who has uh, worked the most with you on that position, and, and how have you become comfortable there enough to, to score points in a, in a world semifinal? Um, who worked with me the most? Probably Freyer. But when I was at Colorado, Coach Jackson helping me out with just critiquing it. Because he know, like, I wasn't really sharp with it when I was doing it. But I just remember, like, we was at practice one day, and I saw, like, uh, Jaden Cox hit the same leg lace I did. I saw him, like, hit it in a match, and I saw him, like, practicing it. I was like, oh, I want to do that. Like, I want to like, do that. And then he taught me it, basically, uh, Coach Jackson. And from that, that's how leg lace happened in the match. How you feeling right now? I feel real good. I, I'm so happy. My lips are dry in my mouth. I got bad cotton mouth right now. But other than that, I'm great. I'm perfect. Have you surprised yourself today? Uh, no, not really. Um, I knew I had the ability to wrestle with a lot of these guys. I just had it to like believe in myself, basically. Um, just, just that, and also just not taking this like to be just some big tournament, even though it is, it's like a world championship. But like just thinking of it as just like another tournament, like like um, how it is like during the season, or like how I how it is like when I was like younger. Like, I just, uh, so, yeah, like, uh, how you know we're talking about three freestyle tournaments in your life. How, how come you weren't wrestling more of it? Because I didn't like it. Really? Yeah. I, to be honest with you, I still don't like it. I, I'm, like, I really don't. I don't know why I don't like it. It's like, okay. It's not the best. But, I mean, I'm going to learn to love it one of these days. But <laughs> right now, I, um, it's, it's, like a, it's like a 7 out of 10. What was it at the start of the day? It was six out of ten. It like bumped up. You know, tomorrow it could be a ten out of ten. You never know. Like, so it'll be it'll be pretty pretty good, pretty exciting to be in the finals. What's your know, first trip overseas? You're dealing with time changes and all that. What what have been some of the unusual things you've encountered on this trip uh, that you might not have expected? Like from people out here, or just, just anything. Just staying up late, late, like falling asleep for like two hours, then staying up for another like three hours, and then falling back to sleep for another two hours. Like, it's crazy. And then uh, being on my phone, uh, taking Snapchats to people, and I, I be forgetting that it's like a six hour time difference, I think. So when I send it, it could be like nighttime for them, and they could be asleep. And like, I forget sometimes, because I be thinking, like, oh, like, it's like almost there, like it's close, and then like I have to think to myself again, like no, like it's a six hour time difference, so that people staring at me, a lot of people staring at me, thought that was weird, I didn't, I didn't like it. Uh, and somebody had me take a picture with them outside after one of my matches, uh, that was pretty weird too, because it was like, right after my first match and some random guy and this uh, girl just came up to me and was like, oh, we want a picture, we love wrestling. I was, I was like, all right, like, all right. It was, it was funny.
you get a, a match to really get rolling and then you get uh, South African and you pin him and it, you've been on a roll as the day has progressed. Is it, uh, have you dealt with any nerves and if so, have they, have they gone away as the day's gone on? Uh, I had a lot of nerves going into, the, into today. Uh, it was like excitement and being nervous. Uh, as the day went on, it did go down because by the time I was getting prepared for the semifinals, like I didn't feel no nerves at all. Like I just felt like it was just like another match, just go out there and wrestle. Whatever happens, happens, and I'm gonna just be satisfied with how I did as long as I went hard. So, uh, so yeah, basically, as the day went on, it went down, like my nervousness. So.